Hiya! Morning. Day six of the tour. We're in Blair Gowrie. We stayed here at the Angus Hotel and Spa. Very posh. I've woken up feeling terrible. And today, we head into England. Boo! We're in England. Not quite. About another ten foot. Boo! <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> Boo. Boo. Morning, man. Morning, bud. Go on, Adam. After you, mate. Clear, Trev. Going for it, bud. You alright, Declan? Cool, mate. I'll wait for you. Cheers, Sam. <sighs> We're straight into a red light. Yep. <laughs> well, sink them up, one, two, three. National! Gravel on that corner, gravel! Yeah, watch the middle of the lane. How did everybody sleep last night? Good? Yep, so uh, yeah. no Very problem. Well. Very nice. Log. Awesome, good, good, good. The hotel, Bruce? Yeah, it was okay that one, wasn't it? Yep. I think we were a little bit of a shock to them. <laughs> <laughs> We're not their usual clientele. <laughs> it was uh, tour bus and purple rinse brigade. So to be honest, Trev's not that far off it now, are you? How old were you yesterday, Trev? 71, uh, 72, something like that? <laughs> I failed it. Could you put your sticker on, Mike? Uh, no, I didn't. Every time I go to put it on the top box, I think of Nicholas Sturgeon, then I put it back in the top box. <laughs> <laughs> Problem. You only need one car to muck up the ride, don't you? Cracking road, but... <laughs> oh, is it just me not getting past it? This is a stunning road. This is every bit as good as some of the Spanish and European roads, this. Awesome. Left at the bottom of the hill, chaps. Good Left shit. at the bottom of the hill. Gotcha. I think there'll be a while, Mike. They'll stuck behind a, a red car. Okay, dude. Drop off marker system. Working well, folks. Beautiful wee town, isn't it? Dunkeld. God, my brother will go nuts. I'm only about 20 minutes from him. Sorry, dog. Sorry for not coming to visit. Okay, mate. I'm on the bend here. Open. Hey, it's left here, buddy. Now this is the A9. At one stage, the most dangerous road I think in Scotland, and now it's 50 mile an hour average speed cameras for most of it. Cheers, Dale. No worries. This is a cracking road. Very dark out west, but thankfully I think we're heading south. But don't believe me, because I've got everything else wrong on this trip. Get my waterproof on. That'll sort them Yeah. Uh, if you put them on, it will be glorious. If you take them off, it will pee down. Just another sea of mountains and moors, isn't it? Oh. What a beautiful landscape. Gorgeous, eh? Even on a keek day like this, it's lovely. Love this bit of road. What a beautiful Stunning, isn't it? Brilliant. We feel so insignificant at the bottom of these mountains, don't you? Yep. So, so puny. Just on. 
this is a nice road this as well Where are you going? Oh, lovely set of beds. This road can get really frustrating because you get a mixture of people dawdling along at 25 and then some of the locals doing about 95 along here. <laughs> <laughs> My brother, he uh, lives down this road and the amount of times I'm chatting to him on the phone and he's just going nuts <laughs> with people in front of him dilly dally. He rides a bike through, so is he in the car? Yeah, he's just in the car. He's a push biker. Right. Yeah, one of those <laughs> <laughs> But he, he does like, he'll do off-road to Inverness from here with his mates, it's crazy. He sort of hit 45 and had a massive midlife crisis because he was oh, a yeah. big fat knacker like me and then all of a sudden he was like, right, I've got to sort my life out. Started training like hells, lost loads of weight, he's got fit. <laughs> he's still a dick though. Sink him up, one, two, three. So folks, we came out of Creef and we hung a left and I think this is the A892, no A822 that we're on. Uh, it's okay road, it's not bad this one. Uh, if you sort of do came through Creef and did the right and head towards a wee village called Comrie, C-O-M-R-I-E, as you come down the high street there, there's a left over a bridge, do that and follow that road and that takes you over the moors towards towards Dumblane and that's a cracking road cracking I think we're turning off this road in a couple of miles it's really nice on this tour like over the course of the sort of six days really that we're on the road you really do cover most of Scotland there's a wee bit of the northeast is missed out sort of the Grampians we do we touch on that as we go through the Cairngorms there through the Lecht and Glenshee but you can see, you know, the rugged beauty of the west coast and right up in the northwest there. And as you come across the top and then start working your way down the top northeast coast, everything changes. The accents change, although there's a lot of English. <laughs> there's loads of English up here now, Eastern Europeans. But the Scottish sort of accents change, the countryside changes, even the roads change to an extent. I've loved this, absolutely loved it. But it's really, really made me homesick. I've got the proper post-trip blues already. Sat in the hotel last night, just thinking to myself, oh, I've got one more night and then that's it. Although for me, I am off again. Uh, Tuesday when I get back, I'll be picking up the Energica Rebelli RS and then setting off to ride around the UK on that in four days hopefully all going well and then i'm home for the next couple of months certainly till about mid october uh, till mid november so i'll be editing like a madman and obviously the podcast as well got lots of guests lined up on the podcast so check that out if you've not already okay so we're gonna do a left left up here and i'll mark this one Phone connected. One group member connected. Drop off marker systems works really well. There's Bruce. Hiya. Hey Bruce. Yep. How you doing, boys? Hiya. Hiya. So we've got Sam and Tony off the back, Bruce. Don't know how far back they are, mate. No worries at all. And, Cheers. And Adam Adam as well. Cheers Adam. Feeling a little bit better, buddy. Yeah, mate, yeah, coming alive now. Cheers. Good, good, good. Do 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 as we head south. It's been a nice fit without a bit of that. It's lovely, isn't it? There you go. Sorry, should have gone there. 
I'll trust your judgment. <laughs> <laughs> Better to be safe than sorry. Uh, well, you don't get to be sorry, do you, really, if you no. make a mistake? This is it. This is it. Sam and uh, Mike might be a wee while, man. Oh, sorry, my old one. Uh, not Sam and Mike. Uh, Trev and Mike might be a wee while. They were doing yeah, pictures. they got a picture, didn't they? Yeah. Awesome. Cheers, Neil. Super. Cheers. Thanks, mate. Hello, guys. It's weird with all people, so many people around about again. I don't like it. I don't like it. Sorry. Right. Anyway, Michael. We'll go back to the empty roads in a second. Absolutely. Lovely. Sink them up. One, two, three. All right then, folks. That is the famous Kelpies over there. So we stop. Bear in mind, if you come here on the bike, you've got to pay for parking. Pound a bike. And I think you can even walk to the Falkirk Wheel from here. I think. Now, back on the road. Let's go. Well, we just had a bit of lunch in there, folks, over at the Golden Arches in Falkirk-ish, that sort of way. Nothing special in the way of roads as you come through that central bit. Just picking it up now. We were originally going to be doing uh, the Kilda Forest, which is a lovely road. But uh, I think the chaps want to, or some of the chaps, wanted a picture at the border. The border stone on the Kielder Forest run, that is just a wee stone at the side of the road. So we're going across over to the A68 and we'll do the big one there. But it means we have to miss out Kielder Forest. But, ah, well, never mind. We've had loads of spectacular roads, riding and scenery on this tour already. Everyone's got a bit of the, the sort of post-trip blues already. I started getting it about halfway through, the, the thought of it ending. So everyone's a little bit subdued today. What an incredible week. I forgot how good the riding was up here. Caledonia, you're calling me. I'm not singing that for you. Dickie can do that. Dickie Vegas can sing it for you. <laughs> Try to ground out the R18 there. This is more like it. Bit of fun again. Having fun there, Trev. <laughs> Excellent. Awesome. I think it's going to need some love, mate. That's going to need some love. I'm squinting on every corner, and you guys are just like. <laughs> I saw you ground. You grounded out there. The yeah. <laughs> Yeehaw! Wow. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Looks impressive in the rear view mirror, all the bikes in the line snaking again. Where is that for you, boy? Interesting. Oh, that smells something dead in the hedge or something. You should be glad you don't have smelly vision, folks. <laughs>
what a cracking stretch of tarmac. That was a wee bit naughty. <laughs> Somebody done that rather quick. <laughs> <laughs> that was phenomenal. It was so good. Oh. So good. Oh my god, look at the view to your left. Oh, holy what's it. That is incredible. These corners of this scenery is perfect. Oh, it's just amazing. All of a sudden it's got good again, hasn't it? It was a bit keek for a while in the middle. Just I thought this far south it was going to get a bit flatter. Where wrong could you be? Wow. Go past if you want, mate, if you're going for it. Oh, it's alright, mate. I'm alright. I think I've probably used all my nine lives. Alright, I'll turn the cameras off now. See you in a bit. Jeez, you could be in like the Lake District or Yorkshire Dales or something here, yeah. couldn't you? You could be anywhere like that, innit? It's gorgeous. So, this is south side of Moffat, folks past loads and loads of bikers so it's got to be a regular hunt, haunt this oh, they, they sound good don't they there's just so many of these dips isn't there along here yeah yeah that's what I was worried about earlier on was, I could have gone but is that a dip so, yeah. especially like Pete said he got caught out with one popped it up yesterday yeah they can hide all sorts beautiful to the Borbors. Oh, look at this. Never even knew you had this in the borders. Wow. What lock's that then? Anyone know? Megat Water, I've just seen a sign. Never heard of it. Good beard, sir. Good beard. Man after your own heart, Bruce. <laughs> Last 90 odd miles. Go on it, Dale, I've not had a chat with you in the last day or two. <laughs> How's things, alright? Yeah, good mate, thanks. Yeah, Enjoying it? Good. Fantastic mate, don't want it to end. It's flown by, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, it has, yeah. It's, uh, I was saying earlier, I've done uh, nearly 1800 miles until about an hour ago, and it don't feel like I've done a third of that. Yeah. It's been an epic trip. Roads are fantastic. We've been lucky with the weather. Great bunch of guys. Yeah. Bring on the next one, I'll say. Awesome. Oh yeah, I'm, I, it's really nice to hear everyone's enjoyed it as much because I've I've loved it, but you're never sure yeah. if you know if you just get caught away in the hype. Awesome. The roads are absolutely epic. And as I say, it's a good bunch of guys. They're all having a laugh, take the mick out of each other, just the way it should be. Lovely job. That's us all here, whoever's marking. We can see you, we can see you. Okay. Is that Neil, Nick, and what was the other one? Yeah. yeah. Neil, Nick, and Nigel. Neil, Nigel. Nick, and Nigel. Yeah. Boo. 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 We're in England. No, not quite. About another 10 foot. Boo. Boo. God, that's it, it's official, the fun's over, we're back here, 
Hiya! What a massive bunch of tarts. Everyone assemble as a group. That's more like it. So come on, one, two, three. Well, it's official. We're out to Scotland. Back into England Shire. Mike, Michael is going to tell oh, us what GS stands for. Smell. Michael, what does GS stand for? Glander Strauss. And what's that mean? Uh, street. You know, it means it means it means street and off off road. Oh, no, it doesn't mean that. God, he's let me down. Jesus. Right, this is us in the hotel for the end of the final night of the tour. What a place, what a fitting end to an awesome, awesome week. Scotland, incredible. Simon, thank you very much for an amazing route. Gents who all came on this tour, awesome. I have loved every second of every day. Folks, hope you've enjoyed this one. Keep doing your thing. Get on out there whenever you possibly can. But most importantly, most importantly, live your life. And yes, we will be doing more of these. Keep your eyes on my socials. Ooh -ha.